snackers. So tonight's dinner is going to be barbecue chicken pizza. Um, it's a recipe that I found off of Noreen's Kitchen, and I will link the recipe below. Uh, I don't know if she's done a video on it, but I found it on her um, blog site that has all of her listed recipes. So um, it's I'm using her pizza crust, and then um, I am using my own home canned barbecue sauce that I ended up having to doctor, because I don't know if you remember on my pantry video, um, I can't remember if I showed you the ketchup or the barbecue sauce, but both of them ended up um, with kind of a burnt flavor. If you doctor up the barbecue sauce, it isn't half bad. So I've already doctored it up and it's ready to go, but I still have to make the pizza crust. So let's get on it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put in two and a half cups of warm water. You don't want scorching hot, you don't want cold, you just kind of want to feel it and make sure that it um, is warm. And then we are going to put in a two tablespoons of yeast and I'll get to mixing that up. And then, so we have something to feed the yeast, we're going to put in a tablespoon of sugar. Mix that up a few minutes, and then um, just like when we make the bread, we are going to let that proof for about 10 minutes or so. so I'll shut that off and we'll just leave that be. Ooh, I'm gonna keep that in because I think there's some yeast on the bottom of that. I don't want that to die. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep that there um, for about 10 minutes and then I'll bring it back when the yeast is nice and frothy. See how nice and frothy that is? It is ready for the rest of the ingredients. So we're going to put two tablespoons of oil in there. And a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to start adding our flour. And we're going to need to add our flour one cup at a time, just like when we're making our bread. So one thing that's important to know is anything that calls for flour, um, there's going to be a recommended amount in a recipe. So like Noreen's recipe calls for six cups of flour. Um, but what you want to do is you want to add your flour one cup at a time until your dough comes together. And then you want to start adding it just a little bit at a time until it starts coming together and kneading and cleans the bowl. You don't want to go and just add in six cups of flour because you may not need six cups of flour. You might need five and a quarter. Um, you might need six and a half. So you just never know. So just start adding them at a cup at a time until your dough starts coming together. And then after that, just keep an eye on it and add the flour as needed.
So I'm going to show you what this looks like real quick. It's, oops, there we go. It's kind of sort of starting to come together now. So what I'm going to do is I am, this is cup number five. I'm not going to add this full cup because depending on how the humidity is and how spot on I was with my measuring of the water and all that other stuff, I may or may not even use that full um, fifth cup. I have a feeling I'm probably going to, um, but from here on out, I'm going to start adding my flour just a little bit um, slower than what I had done before. show you the dough is starting to kind of sort of move around the bowl there it's not quite cleaning the edge so I'm going to continue adding the flour until it starts cleaning off the edge on the edge. So I'm just going to let that go and that will um, start to clean the edges and I'll bring it back when um, they're nice and smooth. So here is the dough. It didn't clean clean the bowl but it got it pretty clean. It's good. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to put some oil um, over the top, spread it around, and uh, we're gonna let this sit for an hour. So I'll bring you back once it's set for an hour. So our dough has risen for an hour. Look how full that is. That's what uh, two tablespoons of yeast will do. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out. Kind of flatten that out a little bit. And I'm just going to roughly divide it. So um, this recipe states that it does three pizzas. The way I do my pizzas is I divide the dough between two of my cookie pans here. And let me spray these down. Okay. And we're just going to divide those between the two and press out the dough. So let me work on that. It may not be perfect, um, but you know what? That's okay. It will still taste delicious. So I'll bring it back. So we have our pizza dough spread out among our two pans. And I'm going to take some chicken and broth that I canned up. Oh, it's been a while ago. I think within the last year, maybe two. Um, and I'm going to drain the broth off. I want to keep the broth though because that still has the chicken flavor and it'll be good to throw in some soup or if I make a gravy, um, I can add that for extra flavoring. All right, let's empty that chicken. Um, okay. So our chicken is in there. And here is my doctored barbecue sauce. So I put in a pint of the barbecue sauce, baba, barbecue sauce that I had canned up. I think it was last year. And um, just grabbing some utensils and stuff. Because what I want to do is I just want to get this chicken 
coated in the barbecue sauce. And then we're going to divide this chicken between the two pizzas. sauce and we'll see if that's enough to coat the two pizzas oh you know what I forgot I forgot to preheat my oven so I want it at I'm gonna do it just like if I were to do a Papa Murphy's pizza so I'm gonna uh, preheat the oven to 425 and now I'm gonna go and I'm going to start dividing this chicken mixture between the two pizzas and I'm not too concerned if the barbecue sauce doesn't get all over the entire pizza because the barbecue sauce is very very flavorful so I think it'll be fine if um, you just have a bite of it every so often if there's a little bit of just plain dough you know what I'm saying without the sauce on it I think that'll be okay plus on um, this other pizza I'm going to be adding some pineapple and some cowboy candy I like the flavors of those Becca doesn't want any cowboy candy on hers so we'll be leaving hers just plain but she likes the olives so we'll do that and then i i just have a bag of shredded cheese that i'll divvy between the two so my camera quit on me um i'm not sure what happened if i forgot to hit record or what but the uh, pineapples on there i split the olives between the two pizzas put on some cowboy candy and sprinkled a few of the red pepper flakes over there. So now when the oven is preheated, I will stick those in the oven for 15, 20 minutes and I will bring you back when they are done. So I almost forgot the most important part, the cheese. Gotta have cheese on a pizza. It's not gonna be as much as I would like on a pizza, but it'll at least be there. So that's good. I don't know if you can see that, but the crust is already starting to rise again. All right, and the oven just preheated, so we're going to stick both of those in. Oh. We'll do, oh, actually, you know what, maybe we should just do one at a time. I was going to do one on the bottom, but then that bottom will probably burn. So we'll just be patient and we'll let the first one cook. I'm going to set it for 15 minutes and we'll see if that's enough to cook it uh, once the 15 minutes is up. Bring you back when it's done. All right, so Becca's pizza is done. She didn't want to be on camera to do a taste test, so I'm going to be on camera to do a taste test. And that is good. I'm glad that I didn't overdo the barbecue sauce because just like I thought, a little goes a long way. That's just perfect. And I did end up having to cook it for 25 minutes. So my pizza, I threw in the oven at 25 minutes. So we'll see if that turns out the same. I'll bring you back for a taste test of mine too because I have a feeling my pizza is going to be better. All right, so the good pizza's done. And I don't know if you guys got a close-up of the crust before, but we do not like the thin crust pizzas. And this one gets um, nice and it's not super thick, but it's, it's there, which is nice. And the um, outside is nice and crunchy. The bottom is nice and crunchy. Should be good.
And that's good. Have the nice chicken chunks on there. Mm. There's a hella or a cowboy candy right there. Gotta get a bite of that. Mmm. Mmm. So good. If you haven't tried barbecue chicken pizza, it's definitely a winner. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.